guys? I'm Rick AK Weedy J. We're going to live from uh, National Coney Islands. She dug cow. She dug cow. What can I say? A little different than our usual. We're not playing a lot. We're not at Rick's house. I'm just hungry. So we all played the Wii U today. What would you guys think? Just really enjoy it. I own one. Of course. I enjoy it. What would you think? That's two weeks in a row. Two weeks in a row, at least us three spent playing Wii U. Yeah, and I like really never had one in my life. We did that last weekend too. We're, we're gonna go on sale pretty soon here, so you guys might I probably still won't. He likes them only at parties, but that's okay. Well, that's the right? Yeah, that's why. That's good party machine. Last week. When we're all together, you have one. Why do I need one? Last week, we saw a dead body. Why do you have to keep bringing it up? Do it again? That's one to let you guys know. Last night, there was an ambulance, fire truck, and a policeman at the neighbor's house. So E3 is done, right? E3 is over. Guys, keep looking so there's also another ambulance and fire truck this morning. That was my family temple. Getting rid of the dead body. Never a dull day. Right, that's why I said never a dull day. What's next in the war? <laughs> so think of this. This is more of. It's raining. This is more, more so a day in the life of. Than a yeah, dedicated. This is like the monster vlog. Yeah. Monster vlog, episode monster, one. Monster vlog, our first monster vlog. So, uh, yeah, we're eating. We're waiting to eat. I <laughs> demolish some cheese sticks. Yeah, we'll, we'll cut it off when the food gets good. You guys know I'm yeah, fat. You guys don't want to watch us eat, especially when you Messy eater. Oh, you're gonna, you're gonna watch us eat. No. We're just gonna just cover ourselves. Just cover ourselves. Rick, I'm gonna have some fries out of my belly button. It's not weird in public. It's never weird in public. True. So if we have any true fans, we all might need to be bailed out. Decent exposure. Did you guys can bail us out? So uh, the giveaway is going really good. Yes. It's, uh, thank you guys for that. I am uh, really happy with how well the, the giveaway boost that we were at. I think that one said it reached like almost 3,500 people. Oh wow. Just that one. I mean, that's the biggest reaction we've had. To us, that's a lot. That's a lot. What's the goal for the giveaway? What's the key target for? Uh, well, really, all they have to do is like the Monster like Boss on Facebook. Uh, they subscribe to the YouTube and they tag, tag a, a friend. friend. Tag a friend in the original post. And that friend is the contest. July 15th. July 15th. Yeah. And whoever has the most likes. And no, we no, we take everyone who enters name. Yeah. We put it on something like random.org. And uh, we hit randomize and pull a name. Yeah. And I ship to anywhere in the U.S. at no cost. Or, but to you, at no cost. <laughs> and we're not going to tell you what it is now. This guy right here is a special giveaway for you guys, too. Yeah, we still have, we have to make sure the item in question works and play tests. It works, right? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. You, you play it. oh cool. Okay, so we know. That's right. And it's, it's anniversary time for this item. That's nice. Yeah. 20th the anniversary. The Japanese, Japanese 20th anniversary. So if that throws you guys a hint, stay tuned. Stay tuned. We still still got this first one. And don't count me out. Expect the retro giveaway too. Yeah. Yeah. So we're not going to do everything all in the same month. We want to give you guys some time. We want to, of course, get some uh, more likes, get some more subs. Uh, we're going to try to do these, like maybe we'll do one a month. Like if we're going to, we're going to give this away in July. We're going to do the next one in August. We're going to do the next one in September. Um, try to give some incentives here for everybody coming and watching the, the program. And having fun with us. You know. So what do you guys think of the new camera? Hope this sounds good to you guys. Yeah. It's really good. 
I can't get over it, dude. It's really sweet. Yeah. It's a nice cat. Rodney uh, picked it up and donated it to the cast. Yep. So the camera will be staying with Rick all the time. Um, I don't. Uh, that's the only re real reason that I would, you know, I'd probably, I'll, I'll do the cast with them. So there's no reason for me to keep uh, my hands on it. And then uh, I'll be using my computer at home to just do some video capture with my Dark Lions crew. Uh, tomorrow, which is Sunday the 26th, today, Sunday the 26th, there will be a video on the site um, for Overwatch. And we're going to do Overwatch with some of the Dark Lions crew later That's today. That's so awesome. Yeah. So, and that'll be, this will be the PC version of Overwatch? PC version of Overwatch, yeah. And, you know, so he's, you know, he's going to let us know what he thinks about it, see some gameplay, and that'll be awesome. I've seen some gameplay. It's a really good game. We're going to do it with the Dark Alliance community. Uh, we've been in Guild, uh, we do several kinds of PC games. We've been in Guild for the better part of 12 years. So we've been in it since uh, Star Wars Galaxies. And we just kind of picked up people along the way. It was so weird. Like my buddy Rob, he's got a little one, Robbie. And I remember when that kid was in diapers, we were playing in Star Wars Galaxies, and now he's going off to the military. So it was like, holy, you know, he came a real story I can't story. believe this. He came a real super very yeah. Just, just hopefully, it's so, better. In. It's been a long time with that. All right, real quick. Speaking of stormtroopers, I saw this little comment on Facebook, and it said, "Hey Steve, I miss my dad." And he goes, "Well, you're a stormtrooper, Gary. You miss everything." Oh, I see. That. What is that supposed to mean? He goes, no, "We're stormtroopers. No. We always miss." The first order stormtroopers are actually those guys are pretty accurate. Yeah, they were. <laughs> they're pretty effective. He's got a sound. Great <laughs> sound. He's got pita bread. I have the big papa. He's got a big papa. You are a big papa. What's up, big Thank you. This is good. You got biscuits and gravy? Biscuits and gravy. on the show. Oh. Oh, it's like the way you go that. French toast. Something smells onion-y. Oh, I just had normal fries. Oh, yeah, the chili cheese. Oh, yeah. Oh. You're confused. You're the sausage. That would be me. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. No, we're not doing a food review, guys. It's not good. Rick, man. This is delicious. Rick is going to turn this one. They forgot my fry. Uh, a little more crowded than the announcement. We ate. We ate and it was good. Um, what did you think of your food? He thought it was pretty good. Look at him. Look how bald he is. This is really bald. Yeah, Shave your head. I've done like the best, like I'm an area major. He donates his hair to Fox. Fox is a pair of Fox. It's a charity. Look at Cal's hair. Like Cal's hair has a perfect spike to it. He looks like he owns a surfboard. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, he's got the seashell necklace. He has the whole look. You don't think he's? You don't think he'd be from Michigan? His boyfriend's not from Michigan either. Wow.
So, okay, so go, go and get back to it. Sorry. Uh, I'm thinking the, the next cast will do will probably be some. So I don't think we ever did like any closure conversation. No, no, no. We really should. So we should do some like kind of like what our hopes are. You know, Okay, go, maybe we'll make that a 30 minute segment. E3 had a lot. Not, not a whole lot of exciting stuff. You know, in the past years, it hasn't been that exciting. Scorpio looks pretty cool, though. I think I really think Nintendo did. And I agree with Jared. I say Nintendo, I think, had the best stuff. You guys see that? You see that? I was showing you me. It says, is known as the retro guy, dies on first Goomba. I heard there's a problem with this Goomba. Hey, I haven't died in the first one. Listen, it's Mario Maker. Like, it, it sounded like Final Fantasy VII boss music kicked in. Then you approach this Goomba. He died at this Goomba a lot. That's when he makes it. I was just telling you. In Dave's, in Dave's basement. You got the footage? I got, you know, I got two is, witnesses. Rick, he's saying pigs or it didn't happen. That's exactly what he's throwing down. I'm going to send him a pick, all right? So it's not going to be much of a picture, guys. And uh, I'd like to apologize for the movements. <laughs> We do have, uh, I've recently found we do have people that are 12 and 13 that I personally know that are watching Monster Closet pretty regularly. So, keep that in mind. There's going to be a TV MA of it. To throw a rating on it. No, you are. Well, we did one of our episodes that occurred against the man. So. Just got a warning. Yeah. I wish we would have got Kel's rant on that. Kel went on a, and This is getting a warning, too, because this is going to be late. But Kel... I'm going to throw a TVMA right up here. <clears throat> Kel got the car walking in on dad peeing in the mom's mouth or something. And, and Kel acted this car out for like 20 minutes. <laughs> Mom, why is dad peeing in there? <laughs> yeah, I that. But, like, but the camera had died. So we missed it all. See, with this camera, I think it set up, I mean, it was saying 1100 hours. Maybe that's standby mode. I don't know what that. Uh, I think that might be how maybe how much we can record. I don't know. This camera's new. Look how good I look. Twenty dollars. I was expecting sixty four gig. Best Buy. Uh, we picked up two. Yeah, we picked up two SD cards. Two sixty four gig SD cards. Fifteen dollars. What? So you got one zero. Uh, he has yeah, I, I think they're in my micro center bag. Yeah. Are they, is that a sale or is that just That's a normal. That's just the regular thing. Is that probably going to pick up? Probably going to pick up. Is that any part of Snapchat? Yeah. Micro center. Micro center. Wow. So today, today they were a little bad. Micro center was bad. Too. Yeah. Micro center sucked. Um, never have ever seen micro center get beat up by a Best Buy. So happy. You cannot read Rod's shirt. It says, My friends call me Hadouken because I'm downright fierce. You guys see what they do? He's downright fierce. You gotta rep the Street Fighter here. Street Fighter sucks. He's bad because he's really bad. I'm probably the best person in the world. He's at really Street bad. Come at me, Dad. What's his name? Daigo? No, Come, you're not Diego. Gonna beat the beast. Dude. Come at me, Diego. <laughs> I would like to face him just once because I think Come on. be awesome. Justin Wong. I think it would be really cool to face him. I'll fight both of you. I'll only play with one hand using a poking control. Yeah. I think infiltration's really good on the scene right now. Um, what about Gamer B? Yeah. He took that one uh, 
that one Evo by surprise when they started using, uh, what's that guy's name? Uh, oh, not Scott, but the other one who. Uh, he's got Jaguar issues. Adon. Adon, yeah. I think everybody was most surprised when the one boy came in using the control. That was like, Gamer yeah, uh, Was it? Okay, and that he was played like, Adon. And a lot of players mocked him. Like, there was one dude that was going against him that went home, went into his, you know, got a, a, a dual shock 2, and started making fun of the guy who was a dual shock 2. That dude, I'm glad him. With that modded dual shock 2 that runs on the PS3 for their, was it uh, Super Street Fighter 4 arcade? <laughs> Derek here is uh, probably the best person in the world of Street Fighter. Tell him about your skills. I am so sweet that I finished myself off. He has no idea what he's talking about. No, it's no, he does. It's 3 a.m. <laughs> We're loopy. <laughs> He's thinking Mortal Kombat. I know. He knows. Which I'm going to practice I'm trying to think of Mortal Kombat and I'm going to take it to you. Because Rodney's really bad at Mortal Kombat. I am. But I'm I play too many I, I play too many games right now. So I played there was a, MK10. There was a month where I was playing MK10 religiously and if Rick would have caught me that month. I would have made him a silly. But then I stopped playing. <laughs> and I went to Street Fighter V. I went to Killer Instinct. Like, I dedicated a ton of time. I, I, I got my phone for level 50. All I hear is crying right now. <laughs> Sorry, I, I, I thought I was talking about Killer Instinct. Not that I cried. Oh, all I was like, who's. I'm talking about one of your, your titles, titles, your beloved Microsoft. And that's how you respond. <laughs> You hear this guy? You hear this guy? Who can't be with that Mortal Kombat? So alcohol in practice. That moment you troll your own company. Our biggest enemy is our own story. And then none of these what none of these guys want to hook up Street Fighter. No. I I'll I play. Said, hey guys, let's hook up the PS3. <laughs> Here's my challenge too. I even said Rick, I played on the 360. Me versus you. Street Fighter, the movie, the game. I don't. I'm gonna be Captain Sawada. You're done for. I'm gonna be Goki. Captain Sawada. You're done for. I can give you the bear hug. Sawada? Sawada. Sawada. So why not? So I don't look good for any retro yeah. challenges with Street Fighter. So why do you do we can, we can, uh, so I've got, uh, I do have the HD remix on my PS3, yeah, which is an exact edition of Super Street Fighter 2 Turbo. So uh, I think you can play other editions of it too, like you can knock Street Fighter 2. No one wants to do that though. Uh, and I do, but I already know I'm probably getting my ass hands, but still. Well, see, the way they moved it around, I'm going to be a little bit better with it because a lot of the Street Fighter 5 mechanics have gone back to the base. Do you hear this? So it's really about that, that level game where you're just more so tiptoeing back and forth, getting the jumps in here and there. As for the other games, you're juggling, you're getting these crazy combos. These two? Really They're piecing out. Yeah, Jelly bean, Dick, and the Vacuums. They're out here. Peace out. Peace out. Thanks for joining us on this young edition of the mob. First one. I say. So we'll do, we'll do a Friday Night Fist Couch or something. I'll bring by the PS3 and we'll do some retro some Power Rangers fighting edition. Uh, so I played a Sega. Oh, no. My friend had a Sega. I mean, I also played it. But my friend growing up had a Sega and played that game. I had a Super Nintendo. I didn't play that game, so I would go to his house and play the Sega version of Power Such Rangers. Such a good game. Now, street, playing Street Fighter on the Sega Genesis, I, I don't know how long you are with the Sega Genesis. Six button controller, best way to play but Street Fighter. But if you didn't have it, you know what you were doing? 
you were hitting that start button with the switch between punches and kicks. Who doesn't have a six button controller? Back in the day before, I mean, when they first came out, you were already dropping $200 on a console. It was a lot of money back then. Comes to the controller, your folks aren't going to buy you a six button right off the bat unless they got some. Oh, I never had a six button. Yeah. yeah, I never owned a six button. I bought my first six button. A year ago, before my retro console. For shame. Yeah. So, I mean, you didn't have parents in the hand that kind of so you got the three button standard controller. Until later on down the road, it came six button standard. Second yes. Second standard six buttons. I do have Super on Genesis. So. It's so, the sound quality is so bad on Genesis. I, I got. Listen, Genesis does what Nintendo. What so are they? Process. It's faster. I like that it showed the sound. Yeah. I like how it showed some dumb like racing game and then Mario Kart. Oh, and I feel like they're aren't they kind of doing that again? Like they, we've gone to the like last processing, right? That was back then. But aren't nowadays we're going to the terrible? Oh yeah, teraflops on board. That's the, the Scorpio is going to have at least six teraflops. That's the new thing. <clears throat> at least six teraflops. Can you believe that? And how many flops do you, does your tera have now? Less than six. You're probably running at about two, two and a half teraflops. Six is unheard of. Yeah, it's unheard no of. Idea what he's talking, but he sounds really good. <clears throat> Six teraflops. He lost me a teraflop. It's, it's mind blowing. It's just 4K. Four things thrown out by gamers now to get them intrigued. Like, oh, it does this. Well, and, yeah, I really hate to do this, but Microsoft fanboys are going to eat it up. No offense. They're going to eat it up and they're going to use that and it's going to be back to the bit that was all Well, it's like poor processing. The, yeah. the Sega Genesis had a blast processor. Blast processor. It made it faster. It made it so Genesis does want Nintendo. Yeah, but Super Nintendo had games that had the FX. Right, they make your Sega Genesis. Yeah, make your Super Nintendo look like a Frankenstein monster. Right, but you, hear me out. Hear me out. Those AC adapters <coughs> each one of those things. Have you guys played Echo of the Doll? Unfortunately. Okay. I've seen it. Take Echo of the Doll. Okay. You're a dolphin. Hey. And you use. Thank you. Thank you. You use sonar to communicate with other dolphin friends and defeat the aliens? Only possible with glass processing. So you're, you're totally echo, echo the dolphin. It's a game based on your dolphin fighting aliens. I, I think it was probably better sound quality than the Sega CD. I've only really played Echo the Dolphin, Echo Jr. The kids won that. He didn't fight aliens in that one. There was an Echo on PlayStation 2. Yeah. Should we do that sometime? Not Echo. That will be the most boring. What about ever. what about Beverly Hills Cop or RoboCop? We could do RoboCop as a PS2. Well, no, retro, retro RoboCop has some great. Games. Both. Uh, RoboCop vs. Terminator. Uh, I believe they had a RoboCop three. Really good. That Donkey movie Kong. was terrible. Okay, the movie was. Is that the one where he was hanging out with the homeless people? Yeah, he, they they. So Robocop? We know Robocop always has a rated R. That's how it should have been. Robocop 1, Robocop 2. Robocop 1 was rated X. In the uh, kind of the official standing one. Well, yeah, but when they did the theatrical one. <coughs> so then they did Robocop 3, and they were like, well, this is around the same time Power Rangers were out, kids are eating up, this kind of stuff. They had the USA cartoon and yeah. show. Let's uh, this drop it to PG 13. And take away everything that made RoboCop roll. Hey, that's kind of like Alien vs. Predator. Yeah. See, no these way. two hit rated R franchises. <clears throat> and now we're PG 13 together. And no one likes that movie. I wonder why. Yeah, we can all rate like not just with um, you know retro games, we can also make discuss some retro games from time to time. Take a good trilogy. Alright, I'm gonna throw this out to you guys. Here's a project I wanna start at some point. 
maybe not anytime soon, I'm not making promises. I want to build a main cabin. A main cabin? You know, I've run the main, I've run the main software on my PC. Imagine if it was in a cabinet. It's okay. Imagine if it was in a cabinet. See it now. We know, we get it. It's, it's okay. Imagine if it was in a cabinet. I have played it in a cabinet. It's okay. It's every arcade game ever. No, it depends on what you want into. Every arcade game ever? That we legally own. They're incredibly expensive. And you have a PC. What I'm saying is we build them. We build them. So my brother is a woodworker. Maybe we can make it happen. Yeah, I'm saying, like, we can build a cheap PC to play the main. We don't need a super PC. Get a nice cheap monitor. Build a cabinet around it. That's a dope yeah, idea. About it, it's like, yeah, it's like the newer LCD or whatever streams. Yeah. You want LCD? Well, you don't want to see like that old CRT arcade feeling? That might be more expensive. Than <laughs> than that. I don't know. It depends if you find a CRT. I mean, I have a CRT in my basement. Oh, wow. CRT could be good. I just want a main cabinet. I don't want to build it. What? Alright. The aisle still kill is cold. We're running out of battery. Already? Yeah, battery's been going down. I didn't know what I did. No, it's not. Yeah, it's right here. Well, we, we did only charge it for like an hour. We're halfway through the battery. So, uh, we're gonna bid you guys adieu. I wanna thank you guys for watching. This is, expect many more of these because this is how we're gonna brainstorm occasionally, too. Is we'll just vlog it. We'll vlog it. So, it's unstructured, completely unstructured, completely, well, like most things we do, completely unstructured. Oh, me and Kel, that guy right there, K Dizzle, we got a little mini series coming where we're gonna play each of the main Doom games. Including Final Doom and Doom 64. And what's it called, Kel? Breaking Kel go to hell. Breaking Kel go to hell. Hey! It's gonna be sweet. So stay, I'm gonna dress up like a devil. A little horn, pitchfork. Probably on Fridays, uh, Rick and I will do like a Friday night fight. What we'll do, we'll showcase different style fighting games. Yeah, like UFC too. You don't actually have heard this much. Oh, it's not. It's great. I love you. And I'll be giving first. And we'll uh, get that coming to you guys, too. Live. People live streaming, but... No, I'm just kidding. That's gross. No one wants to see that. get some hits. A lot. Alright. The wrong kind of hits. Yeah, right? Peace out, guys. We love you. You know everyone here. Brick. We to Jay. Kel. Hey, 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 this is a That's You barely see Ange. But listen, we love you guys. Peace out.